Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. Um, just a quick video, I wanna talk about more about using acrylic paints. Um, this is a block from a series, it's a seashore, seaside type of series. I believe the blocks are from Embroidery Library. I will try to post a link um, in, when I get these all finished um, in the description so that you can go look at them. But I wanted to carry the whole concept of using acrylic paints to this level. You know most of what I do is sell embroidered blocks that you can color with pencils, markers, and gel pens. Well, I now want to carry it forward so that you can start using acrylic paints. And I used the Novo uh, Nova color paints, and this is just one of them. This is one of the ones that I use to help create the decking color. And there's a lot of blending that goes on when you do acrylic paints, which is actually kind of fun, but I wouldn't say it's something that the beginner should start out with. So um, just a couple of notes. I, I think for those of you who have colored with pencils um, and have used the fabric medium, very frankly, it's easier still, in my opinion, to blend with pencils and with the fabric medium than it is necessarily with the um, the acrylic paints. Now, I'm going to zoom in here real tight. I think you can kind of see uh, there's areas where I didn't necessarily get um, good coverage. That is, again, something I think that comes with practice. I did have to thin the acrylic paint down with fabric medium so that it wouldn't be so gloppy. Uh, the second kind of disadvantage I've noticed is that acrylic paints do tend to dry very, very quickly. So you have to work with this um, pretty expediently. Um, although I think if I added some extender, I might be able to get more out of it. But by adding extender, it will cause you to lighten up your color and it won't be as saturated. Um, so the red, for instance, is very saturated. It was used directly from the bottle. And of course you can tell it's extremely strong color. Notice the nice thing about it, it goes on very smoothly. There's no streak marks like you would get with pencil. Um, very, very nice saturated color. The sky and the clouds were all done with mixtures of the acrylic paint and fabric medium. And uh, I liked it. I still think there's a bit of practice on my part to get it smoother and nicer finished. But overall, I, I can tell you I'm happy. Now, here's the one big advantage that I see uh, with acrylic paints right off the bat over the pencils, markers, and gel pens. And that is, I'm gonna zoom into the clouds. If you have to color over, and I'm gonna put my finger here, like right here, I thought I got too much gray in the background. Well, all I had to do was whip out the white acrylic paint and it immediately covers over it. And in fact, I, I can see now looking at this up close, like I really like the way I did this cloud, but these are still really blotchy. Well, the good news is, is I can go back in with acrylic paint and fix that and it will cover it all up and you won't have the problems that you do with the ink tense pencils, which are translucent, where if you lay a dark color down, it's very difficult to hide that dark color. So that's it real quick. Um, just again, to, to have continue the discussion about whether or not to use acrylic paints versus any of the other tools. You know, here's my first experience with doing it with one of my blocks. Overall, I'm happy, uh, still more practice to come, but hey, you only get better when you practice, right? Anyway, uh, links below for the various different items that I've used, as well as a link to my website. If you like this video, as always, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.